It really changed the game. Oh, it's, listen, they could have consulted me. They could have been like, hey, we're about to release like a major update. Is there like a week you want us to dodge? I mean, like, just be honest, I don't work for them, but still. <laughs> I would have appreciated it. I don't want any of this garbage. I guess I'll take a 2-2. A two -two. And then another 2-2. Two -two. And then I'm going to sell. Hey, Mad Dog Nation, thank you as well for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. It was on the test server for like a month. Bro, I don't play web games. I play hardcore games like Super Auto Pets. As long as I got a gecko, I don't really see him doing too much, but. It'd be an edible head. I will say, a lot of people didn't know this. While I was gone, I was the world's first person to hit um, level 100 hardcore in Diablo 4. I had a lot of downtime. But I, it didn't give me the trophy that you get in front of Lilith or whatever because I didn't have internet access on the cruise. So like by the, I did it, it was like day one or whatever when I did it because it was easy. I played a Necromancer and I used Bone Spear mainly. But then I didn't, like I connected before I got on the cruise. But then I hit level 100 and I was like, oh, I want to submit it, but I didn't have any data. So I, by the time I submitted it after the cruise docked in Vancouver, they had already had a thousand people already do it. So I was like, oh, well, you know, and I'm like a people pleaser. I don't want to be like, hey, come on, guys, can you... <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I have a timestamp picture and everything of like me holding that day's newspaper with Mickey Mouse on the front. It was all good news too. I noticed that. I remember it because it was very peculiar. You don't often see that in a newspaper. Okay, we're going old school build. Shrimp me. I'm going to, instead of doing the supercell here, I'm going to get something sustainable. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to take an owl. I know it's bizarre. Then I'm going to sell you. I don't really care if you buff the chinchilla. That's, that's life. Then I'm going to sell you. How about you eat my ass? Shrimp plus buffalo plus dragon goes hard. Brother. What, there's so much new stuff in the game. You, I'm not trying to be upset or anything. But... You can't... Of course I know shrimp... Chinchilla dragon goes hard. That's from November 2021. We're way back in the day. Say like you're trying to tell me like... Turkey fly goes crazy or something. Hey, buy, buy pears on tier four. Anyway, so I'm just, I'm spiraling. Sure, give me a toy. And then, hit him with a tennis ball. And then, honestly, your ass should have rice. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble, guys. Oh, shit. Do you see the TikTok of the, um, it's a duet. I don't know if you're familiar with what a, a duet is on TikTok, but it's, it's on TikTok and it's a, uh, the original is a kid with like a black and white filter. I say kid, but they're like 16 and they're screaming, and she's gone. I loved her. Really dramatically. And then on the left, it's like another kid who's like 16 or 17. Um, but he just does a good Mario impression. And he dubs over it and goes, She's a golden. I loved her. That's a really good one. I don't know if you saw that one. Did you see the aliens driving the forklift? 
Did you see that one? Where did you come from? Was that there the whole time? <laughs> you see it was uploaded at 6 a.m. Oh, man. Start a battle. Summon a 2-3 nest with egg perk. The fuck does that mean, dude? 2-3 nest with egg perk. Robin and Owl synergize? Do they, though? Because a start of, start of turn. Start of, start of turn, you summon a mouse. Start of turn. Faint, summon a dolphin. My ass is in a lot of trouble, guys. <laughs> He's gone. I love Tutter. Coming pretty good. You know what? The kids are all right. Well, it, actually, I think like I, I don't go on TikTok anymore. It's been a long time. I've I've talked about my TikTok saga. Basically, uh, I was on the app back in like 2020 because everyone was like, "It's a new hotness." I was making TikToks. They were taken off because, like, the viewership was probably purchased by the Chinese government <laughs> and just inflated to make the metrics look absolutely enormous. Um, and then Trump was like, I'm going to ban it. And I was like, well, I'm not wasting my time on this thing anymore. I got shit to do. My wife's pregnant. And then he was like, I'm joking. And then like, we're still here, right? Like, it's, so I just, I, I lost my momentum with it. Um, so I, I'm not on TikTok that much, but my understanding of TikTok is that mostly it's like, teenagers posting like teenage stuff and it's the adults who are insane it's the adults who are like grounding their bed with a copper wire that then leads to the outside so if they get shocked by lightning they'll <laughs> get broiled <laughs> it's like all social media i think you're right i think honestly I complain on Twitter that like, oh, my whole feed is just like 12 year old kids from Colombia talking about across the spider verse. I don't know what happened that Twitter thinks I'm like fucking obsessed with Spider-Man for some reason. I haven't even seen the new one. I saw the last one. It was good. It was, it was probably even great, but like, that's what I uh, complain about. But what I really should be complaining about is like the 55 year old people who are just like completely insane. Anyway, one, one moment here. Gain perk or ailment? Is Apple considered a perk? No. I'm buffing an owl. This is not great. Start of turn, gain experience. You're, uh, this is obviously a buy-sell. Of course, I'm very familiar with this. You gotta see it, it's amazing. It was uploaded at 6 a.m. And it has one view. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, sure, I understand. She's a god. I love her. How about something buyable, sellable? Hey, okay, sure. Mole? Doesn't even do anything. Well, I guess if you get some... Anyway, nevertheless, I gotta... Um, start of turn, summon a mouse. Start a battle, summon a nest. Makes perfect sense. I'm happy to report, by the way, my wife also watched... Uh, I think all of season one of, or season three of I Think You Should Leave. She said, I don't get it at all. It's not funny. And then I just quoted it uh, in her face enough. And now she's like, you know what? I watched it again and it's pretty good. <laughs> I keep going like this. Like, Imagine Greg was your mortal enemy. Ah, Greg, you fucker. Why'd you, why'd you interrupt my orgy, you fucker? <laughs> Ugh. 
Anyway, time to lose. Um, summon a 4-6 nest with the egg perk. Oh, but does it have vigilance? Choose a toy. I guess I would buy and sell for a toy. Sure, you could give some garlic to my owl, like, eventually or whatever. And I guess, why don't you take some meat? You're just sticking around for a minute. Llama? That makes too much sense. <laughs> I did... Uh, thank you, by the way. Someone's talking... Oh, motherfucker. Someone's talking about Wild On. I was trying to explain to Kate that, like, I don't think the sketch where the lady pours poison in her boss's mouth is, um, like, that funny. But the funniest part of so many... I think you should leave sketches is the original songs that they make for it. It's so good. Wild on, wild on, tonight we'll go wild on, tonight we'll go crazy. I don't even remember what the the rest of it is, but it's Yeah, like Friday night and I mean it's it's great. It's good stuff. You should not be, you should be there. That's, that's what we're looking for. Right there. You're going to generate another one? I don't care. I have one win. That's bad. That's not good. But the squad? I think it's starting to get there. I'm ignoring the llama again. <laughs> what about shirt brother? I don't think Shirt Brother is that funny, but I love it because just the concept of an old man named Shane is, is just hilarious. I mean, he's old, but his name is Shane. Like, that's hilarious. That's, that's very funny. If you don't see the humor in that, I don't know what to tell you. I do also, I, I love the idea of, of meeting a Shirt Brother. Don't get me wrong. It is going to be wild, like, when we get... I can't wait until we have, like... You buy, so, I'm spiraling in bit into bit here. Most common name for an uh, American boy age 5 to 10 right now has got to be Braxton. I feel like uh, there were, like, nine Braxtons I heard about on the, on the ship. I guess I'll be fucking dead when they're old, but, like... Heard so many... People call they're like Braxton, Braxton, there's a baby around. Don't uh like be careful that there's a baby around. And I'm like, where's the baby? And then I realize they're talking about my daughter, and I'm like, what the hell? She's not a baby. She's two and a half years old. She looks like a baby compared to Braxton. She's not a baby, she's a toddler. There's no babies in here. This is Andy's room. I have two wins. This is... I'm, I'm torched. Dude, it's no... There's no chance. What am I doing? I just hope I'm not making a mistake with the animals, but... Cranston. They're running their own Robin, so they're as messed up as I am. That's a good start, I guess. But then, I don't know if it's fair, they have, like, other animals. Did you resonate with the talking about your kids sketch? So, I, I, mean, I guess I literally just said this, but it's so often with I think you should leave the central premise is not that funny, but the like fringe elements are funny. I don't think that sketch is great, but I just love the, hey, look guys, the dog's blowing me. And then everybody's like, uh, hey, look, the dog's blowing me too. Uh, or when he, I was telling Kate when he, he panics and he's like, hey everybody, look at this! And he just starts doing this. And then all the guys get in line behind him. And then he's like, ah, break it up, break it up. I think it's pretty good. You talk shit about this build and now look at you? Brother, look at the look at my stats. 
Never mind, I got a dragon. We might be so back. <laughs> oh, man. Llama? Is this allowed? You broke my nest. That's where my baby birds lived. Luke, whoa. How about the driving crooner? I feel like I'm like the ultimate hater. That's the, the, every year there's like a sketch or every season, I guess. There's a sketch that everyone goes crazy for that I'm just like, I'm not that into it. This year for me is the driving crooner. I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not saying you're wrong. It's just, I, I enjoyed it, but it's not the, it's not the, 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 What's the killer app? What do they call it? <laughs> it's not my favorite short film in Paris, Je I like the metal wall guy. Well, okay, listen. I might not get the driving crooner, but at least I'm not the guy who likes the metal maniac sketch, right guys? I mean, come on. I guess we could take this. It's his wall. He, I know, he built it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Which he built. What's the worst sketch? Yeah, the Fred Armisen one is not very good. It pains me because I'm a noted Fred Armisen enjoyer. Even his stand-up, which is not funny, I find hilarious. Just because he's such a weird guy. The Fred Armisen one is not, is not great. I'm gonna go with you here, brother. Ponytail sketch? It's not the best. It's not the best. Uh, honestly, the one that I think is, is close to the tippy top and is not getting the respect it deserves is... Um, and uh, keep in mind, I know nothing about the general way that the show has been received this season because I've been away, is um, the silent performer. That one is so good. And I never talk. Showtime. I also, I saw someone say, what about the lewd uh, singer? I don't think the sketch is very good. But I think it's very good when he forgets the words. And he goes, I'm trying to remember uh, what it, how does it go? What are the words? I remember he fucks the dog and he comes in the dog and then the come is his dinner. That's the part where I'm like, they, they brought me back a little bit with that one. But speaking of which, we brought this run all the way back. Car focus group gets me every time. Brother, that's season one. It's like eight years ago. That's pre-pandemic, I think you should leave. Before it inexplicably became the most popular show of all time amongst the over-educated millennial class. We gotta do some buying and some selling, man. We're supposed to buy and sell with this squad. We have to sell to get a mouse. Which means we have space for another owl. Why do I care about an owl? It gives you a slightly better apple. I do. I love Frankenstein's chick as a sketch too. I apologize. If you don't watch, I think you should leave. It's probably like so annoying that like so many people do talk about it. But I, it gets me every time, man. What can I say? I think I just slept with Frankenstein's chick. Ah! I don't like crude humor. Isn't it ironic if you don't like crude hu humor, you probably love the crudes. Is this something? I'm just thinking about it. Is this something? All right, guess what? You're gonna get a little stronger because I don't know what else to do. 
That was kind of a miss. Well, this is like the... I didn't think of any jokes on the cruise. This is why it was so crazy. People were like, I can't wait for the anecdotes today. Meanwhile, in my head, all I've got is... um, I am badly balding. I have lost my hair. Don't know who I'm tricking. Pretending it's still there. I guess that I'll be wearing a hat on my wedding day. I don't suppose it's like the bride, it's like the bride, it's like the bride will stay. But I'm combing it over anyway. But I'm combing it over. You know what I'm talking about? Like, that's all I got, man. That was like a week of me on the can with no internet. Some of the hottest Duncan Sheik references on the whole website, for sure. But like, I'm not sure it gets you that much in the in the modern day. What about the buffet goers? It's just the same. I mean, it's the same trip, right? So it's like the same joke every time, but it's not a joke. Like, I just don't understand what's wrong with the people that fill their cup all the way with Coca Cola and then drink half of it at the fountain blocking the other dispensers and then fill the second half up again you can't possibly be that thirsty you're walking around with like a two liter plastic jug with mickey mouse on it and one of those fucking like corrugated plastic straws I w I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad, okay? I, I don't want this to be misconstrued as just trying to make people feel bad. But there were also a lot of times in the morning when I... Well, like, one specific example. I was eating breakfast early. Because my wife and my baby like to sleep in a little bit. I like to be there when the buffet opens. Because I'm not doing anything else, right? I'm on vacation. I wish I could sleep more, but I've become like my parents. I just kind of, like, wake up when I wake up. And then it's like, I might as well start doing some stuff. But anyway. So I go to the... I go to the buffet, and you'll hear, like, I guess I'll buy you, sell you, so I get a little buff here, right? I, I heard, and people, I'm not sure that all these couples are, like, okay. Why am I running four squad? Oh, because I want to get the rat. Because it'll be, like, 7.50 in the morning, and the couples are, like, already getting snippy with each other. And I'm like, you're on vacation. Like... At least wait till you got a couple of Mickey bars in you or something like that, right? I remember the the wife was sitting down. They were like, I don't know, maybe mid-30s couple. The wife was sitting down with their young kid. And then the dad was like, what do you want to drink? And the wife like sighed and was like, I'll just take a Coke. And I was like, are you fucking crazy? It's like 7.40 in the morning on a Wednesday. <laughs> Your ass was like, I'm going to take a Coca-Cola? Not even like a, a Coke Zero or something? Like a, a water, tea, coffee, juice. Like, I just, maybe get, yeah, like, like a Jack and Coke or something like that. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go wild on. I also, I, I was thinking, it's so cute. Like on the first day of the cruise, you walk around to some of the other rooms and people like decorate their doors. So you'll see some that are like, you know, my high school graduation is this week. Woo! You'll see some people that are like, you know, we just got married or like, it's our first vacation or whatever. And then I was thinking about it when I was at the buffet and I saw this like 70 year old woman just walking. And then a, a 70 year old man came up behind her and grabbed her arm and went, we're sitting outside. You need to listen to me sometimes. And I just thought about how... Like, so many doors I walked by were, were like, it's our 40th wedding anniversary. Like, it's our 50th, 55th wedding anniversary. <laughs> the, so in some situations, I think the door might betray the situation that's going on inside of the room. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm being too judgmental, I've been suggested. I think people, they just go, they go a little crazy on the in the buffet sometimes. The people that go the wrong way in the line too is just, I mean, be a skilled mammal.
And I'm gonna again. I'm saying I'm I'm too judgmental. I'm saying that for a fact. Okay. But if you cut in front of me in the buffet line, or you're trying to go in the five prime to three prime direction, when we go in the three prime to five prime direction, your plate better be immaculate, because the the number of adults that went the wrong way through the buffet line, thus causing everybody that's going in line the right way to have to go ramp and like back up so that you can go to the French fries on the other side because you don't like the French fries on the side where you came in. Every single plate was just mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, French fries. I saw a dude at breakfast and I was losing my mind. We're, he, we're in the buffet. He's carrying a plate of breakfast food. But he's bumping into people because while he's carrying the plate of breakfast food, he's eating a donut as well while he's still in line. But and like trying to maneuver. And I'm like, just wait till you get to the fucking table. Like, I don't, I, I don't care that you're eating a donut. It doesn't bother me. But it's like, it's like, I don't care if you're texting. But if you're texting and driving, then you should fucking pull over or something, dude. It's crazy. You're just going nuts. You're, you're doing way too much. Anyway, hello, Simvicta. I saw you. People said, get ignored. I did not ignore. I didn't see. Then I saw people say, get ignored. And I said, oh, I ignored. Kids also running full speed with plates of food. I mean, I'm biased, but like, when a kid makes an, a lapse in judgment, I'm like, they're seven. Like, what am I, what am I gonna do? Be like, ah. You know, that's what their kid's for. They gotta, they gotta learn. It's when like a 55 year old dude wearing like a Miami Heat NBA Finals 2023 shirt. Ooh, does he know? <laughs> is coming the wrong way through the buffet because he's like, I, my station had steak fries and I only want like shoestring fries instead. That's when I start to, that's when I start to get a little judgmental. I'm like, bro, you had like 17 years before I even stepped foot on this planet to get your shit together. And you're out here still fucking it up. And you're on vacation. You got no excuse. You, got, oh, you can't be like, oh, sorry, I was stressed. Your ass has been watching the Golden Mickeys. It's the greatest show on the, on the seven seas. I'm going to get a 10-piece this time. I've willed it. it. It will come true. What did... What, okay, you, tennis got broken. I see. Tennis got broken. You're gonna give us another toy. Where's my hug? You're gonna give me a balloon and we're gonna get Spark Mandrill. You're not gonna get Spark Mandrill. You're gonna give me a better toy next time. Sure, sure. Lumberjack show was pretty fire though, dude. Anyone ever been to the Lumberjack? Did I ask that already? Anyone ever been to the Lumberjack Show in Ketchikan, Alaska? I will. Can somebody look this up for me? I went to the Great Lumberjack Show. It was an hour. I was laughing so hard, by the way. So Goofy came out. We're supposed to watch some dudes with chainsaws, like cut through logs really fast, and then chop stuff down with an axe. They were Goofy came out and said, "Before we get started, we need every kid in the audience to come down for a little activity." And then I swear to you, the dude just said, "Start doing jumping jacks." And some of the kids were doing jumping jacks. Some of the kids were like, what the hell? They had, he had him doing jumping jacks for like 20 seconds. And he was like, oh, yuck, all right, now push-ups. Uh, these little kids, get, they've been on the cruise just eating chicken nuggets and mac and cheese and freebasing soda for six days straight. He's like, give me some push-ups. Give me, oh, up next, give me some sit-ups. And the, I'm watching like the cheeks get so rosy and stuff like that. It was so good. Nobody else thought it was as funny as me. Anyway. Can somebody look up, though, has anyone ever been killed at one of those lumberjack shows? Because, like, they're, they're like 30 feet away from you or something like that. Like, it's not, they're not close, but they're swinging those axes, like, tung, tung. You could, like, one could slip out or, like, uh, they could just throw it when they just have a bad day or something like that. Have there been any accidents at the Great Lumberjack show? I was, I didn't like when they were like chopping and then the backswing was facing the audience. When they went around for the other cut and they were chopping, I was like, there's no way he's just going to heave the like blade side in here. 
Disney would kill every witness on the cruise before that story got out. Was, I mean, I agree. <laughs> but also, there was a part of me that was like, because we were, I don't want to blow up their spot, but we were in line for the restaurant, and then two dudes in lumberjack uniforms came and stood behind us, because it was like a long line. They, they came out of the lumberjack show and like got in line for lunch behind us, and they started talking about how they were like so hungover, and they like stayed out really late last night, but it was a lot of fun, which is fine. The show was great. But if you, my ass was definitely thinking about it when they started swinging those axes. Like, maybe today's the day, man. So there's been no accidents? This doesn't seem right to me. I'm sure there's been an accident. Not with the chainsaw. I get the chainsaw stopped spinning, but they had, like, just axes. I know they're not real lumberjacks, but they're, they're real. Well, I mean, they're not, they don't work in the logging industry, but apparently they competed in collegiate timber sports, which I didn't know was a thing, but apparently it is. A teacher died in 2002 at a lumberjack show in Juneau. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know, okay? Because it just, I was running the numbers. I think I'm, I'm not great at reasoning but i think i'm good at estimating so i was doing you know what there's like they're doing eight shows a day times 30 years this thing's been available surely somebody's been hit by like an errant axe handle or something like that i forgot what i was doing on this run i'm cooked it's over it's not over it just is getting started On start of battle, you get garlic. On break, everybody gets one health. That seems like ass. How about on break, everybody gets one health? Or, sorry, how about on start of battle, the rightmost friend gets garlic? That's what I meant to say. You should take it. You're, you're, you're pogging. You're interesting. If we could get a pill as well, I would be interested. Two of you? Okay. No, 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 I'm not, you know, am I going to sell you? I'm probably going to sell one of you next. I'm probably going to sell you next turn if I had to guess. It almost worked. Wait a minute, it still did work? It worked completely? It worked, in, it basically worked. Why a dolphin with rice, though? Like, that's what I don't get. The teacher who died was performing as a lumberjack? I guess it's probably... No, I mean, like, I know you pill it and then you can sell it for more. I'm just saying, like, is there, like, a lore reason? <laughs> like, do, do sturgeons love to eat... Do dolphins love to eat rice? A lot of people are laughing, but nobody's telling me the answer. Holy cow, I'm going yard on this one. I guess it is more dangerous to be like the lumberjack than to be in the audience. But that's not how it felt. Okay, what do you do? Summon two dolphins with rice in the back. Two dolphins with rice in the back. Two dolphins with rice in the back. Sure. I would. I think I would. And then I honestly think, like, you just suck ass. You could take some garlic. You summon a nest. I don't... You, you know what? Give me, a, give me a level one tier three toy. On break, get some lasagna. Okay. Now we're talking. And then let's immediately replace that. Hang on, let's look at what this gives us. <laughs> Give the two most right friends garlic press. No, I'm gonna skip that. We're gonna keep the lasagna. And then next turn, we're gonna sell the dromedary and put Lydia out there. It just makes sense to me. 
It just makes sense. Two dolphins with the start of battle effect. I was going to say it goes crazy. It turns out it's actually not that good at all, okay? S sell me. Buy me. You could be sold as well now that I think about it. I don't know why I'm keeping you around. Oh, but we could put a mole out there is an interesting idea. For next time. Not interested. Dude, I'm so lost. <laughs> Why are you not selling the dolphins? Because their start of battle effect is like half decent right now. It's not good enough to make up for the rest of my squad not being good at all, but... I am basically just rolling. Okay, so now we get a lasagna. I'm gonna feed a lasagna to you. I'm gonna place you down. I'm going to get some lasagna. I mean, if I could... It, it, it seems a little late for a buffalo, honestly. Maybe I don't want a lemur. I'm just rolling. The man's just rolling. It's that simple. I got nothing else. Gain perker ailment gets strong. I'm, I'm literally just rolling in the dice. Okay. I'm just... I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm getting mind flooded by... by there's perks. There's foods. Not all foods are perks. But all perks are foods. You can't deny that part. Friendly toy breaks. Adjacent friends get stronger. Two free lasagnas. I know it sets it back by a turn, but that's that's life. Okay, here's we're we're going for freaking broke now. Gain perk friends get okay, no no no. Mosasaurus. Sell this lemur. Octopus. It's going to get a chili pepper. If you have a toy, the nearest friend behind gets plus five health. How interesting. I would like an octopus stab. Five, five, six, four. Hang on, hang on. Poodles does okay here. I said okay. It does okay here. And let me look at something for a freaking second, okay? Five, three, five, five, six, five. If I could sell you and get a tier one, that doesn't seem smart. It doesn't seem smart right now. We don't need another puppy yet. Well, we, 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 we live for a couple of rounds. We might. No, it's okay. I'm all in on five wins. What do I have right now? Like two? I got two. That would be it would be a miracle. And yet, it's more likely than you Nope. Two wins. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's try again. Gecko and some toy potential. A toy. Just take it round by round. Start with a balloon. Stats are always good. I haven't been that impressed with the mosquito tech so far. Try, try me with one of these. Bit by bit. Be a smooth mushroom. Send in the Seahawks because he's running back. I'll have you know I recently found out the running back is an antiquated position in uh, football. When I watched football... The running back was the most important position of all. Ladanian Tomlinson, Sean Alexander, Brian Westbrook, Priest Holmes, Larry Johnson. Nowadays, I, 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 I got made fun of. I said you should never take a, a left tackle in the first round of the NFL draft. Why wouldn't you take something more meaningful like a, uh, a running back? Everyone laughed at me and said, what are you talking about? I thought a running back was like the, the most important. Well, I mean, a quarterback's the most important because they touch the ball on almost every play, right? But then a running back's got to be like number two. They're a dime a dozen now. I feel like it should be really... <laughs> this is maybe like an idiotic take, but that's what makes it funny. 
It should be really easy to be like a tackle. Don't you just eat a lot of food and stand there? Maybe that's a little forehead, but like... I get, like, is there, is there strategy involved? You have to be fast as hell, too. You got to be 6'8", 350. That's not hard. That's just, I mean, the height is like you're born with it. And then, I'm telling you, if you went up on a few Disney cruises, you could, you could hit those numbers pretty quick. You have to run 100 meters in four seconds. But, okay, so obviously that's insane. But they don't have to do that, right? They only have to do that at the Combine. Which is insanity. Hold on, I'm getting plus twos. I'm, I'm out of my depth now. People are, people are saying I'm right in some ways. If you have a toy, get stronger. Okay, hang on. And then give me a toy. Mad Dog Nation, thank you again. Thank you. Much appreciated. You got to be built like a tank. I'm just saying it doesn't seem that hard. <laughs> you know that thing that like those guys train their whole life uh, lives for? And then like it's so hard they can only do it for like a few years before their body completely breaks down. And then they're like never the same. It just seems like kind of... <laughs> I guess what I should be saying is I don't understand what makes it hard. Maybe that's a better way to describe it. I feel like I got to keep you around. I don't really need two of you, but I could... You're a 3-4. I could, I could have two of you. Why not? Now, if, if the toy dies in the battle, it will respawn in the shop. Is that correct? Yes. I knew that. I'm a doctor, too. Um, but only once? You've got to stop the most athletic guy on the field from getting where he wants to go. Wrong. The most athletic guy on the field is your running back. <laughs> you have to help him get where he needs to go. I didn't want you to get this because now you're going to freaking get billed. At some point when a pill shows up. I need a toy. Sell me? Buy me. Okay, I know you're not going to work yet. Just give me a second, okay? And then... Give me some... Honey? Salad is not a perk. Another mole. Alright, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't think this is smart. Elite defensive ends are the most athletic people on the whole... Oh, the mole has to be in the front, doesn't it? Are easily the most athletic people on the whole field? Well, th why didn't they win physical 100 then? Riddle me this. I believe physical 100 was won by a snowboarder. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Is it not then obvious that... A snowboarder is a better left tackle. That wasn't it rigged. Well, yes, but be that as it may, it was still entertaining. <laughs> Stock one free lasagna on break. Okay, I'm just I'm just thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it. just studying it.
Turns out like an 8-8 mole is not that good. This happened last time I came back from being away too. I remember. I played Super Auto Pets and like my first run was not that bad. And then every subsequent run, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. Faint. Give skewer to the nearest friend behind. Very interesting. Very interesting. Perks are two times stronger on you. Very interesting. What's the comparison in hockey? Well, there is no comparison because the hardest um, position to play in hockey is the referee. Because it's really hard to skate when you're blind. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know where to go! Do I even want this? I don't think I want this. What am I doing? I'm doing nothing again. If you're doing nothing, buy cans, man. Oh, he's, he's going to be a 16, 16 more. And you're going to choose a, a toy from level 5. Yes, please do. Do a goalie and a striker have the same value? My hunch is that in soccer, um, a striker has more value than a goalie because there's never any shots on net. So your goalie... You're right, it's a 0-0 zero, zero mole, isn't it? Um, so your goalie doesn't need to be good at all. And then a perk, please. Give rightmost friend 6-6. Six, six. I mean, that's, that's pretty sizable. On faint. So we can actually go full squatted. Not with this garbage, though. <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend uh, any of this. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm going to go can. Uh, I don't know. Goalie needs to be good, but... Because uh, every game goes to penalties. Yeah, but isn't... Okay, again. I'm not like a soccer guy. So to speak. And such as... Isn't penalties just luck? Like a, like 70% luck? Three wins. I can do this. This is the perfect team to get a llama on. You're gonna get pilled anyway. Just get pilled, dude. Why are you why are you still here? Thank you! Get pilled. Break friendly tier four or lower toy. Buy me. First, pill me. Buff the mole. It's a tier 5. Also, it's a tier 5 toy. That's what's interesting about it. A lot of stuff to focus on in the, in the new build. I mean, I, when people told me there was a new Super Auto Pets update, I was like, oh, what, like six new animals? I didn't think they were going to fundamentally rewrite, like, the genome of the game. You know, we've... They, def they definitely mixed it up. It was still a great time to have a squirrel, for sure. I'm not mad we had a had a squirrel active for that. It's less extreme of a difference in the weekly. What the hell? Why did everyone tell me to play the puppy pack first then? Everybody said you gotta play the puppy pack before you play the weekly. It's funnier this way? Then why are you complaining? <laughs> we aren't, you are? I don't know, there's one guy in chat that's like, oh, I can't even distract myself from my job with this. I 
It's just too much to think about, honestly. If I sell you, I'm not going to have any freaking money to buy a perk. Give me the pancake perk next to him. But then what am I doing here? I'm doing, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing nothing, brother. I'm doing fucking nothing. Okay, sell me. Your ass is, like, not that useful. Buy me. Give me some pancakes. And then go, go for it, I guess. Coconuts. Scammed. Damn, it's a cash grab. Okay, you got me pretty good, Octopus Enjoyer. Why are you acting like Chibli? Why is your face shaved like... Chat, quick, what's the guy from Avatar The Last Airbender? Ang? Baby Gronk. I heard he got rizzed up by Livy. Is that correct? That's a child you're talking about? I don't really know what it means. <laughs> I've been trying to, to parse it. I've been trying to piece it together. I now know who Baby Gronk is. <laughs>